Welcome on back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new, welcome on in. I am Samarella, and we have a brand new episode of The Flower Legacy, second generation with my boy, Blue Vitor, who is here at his house. He is actually studying, studying real hard because he has two final exams. And uh, yeah, he just got finished writing a term paper. Um, the rest of the roommates are sleeping. Um, Blue is a little bit stinky because he did get a little bit toasty today. <laughs> Hopefully he won't get toasty um, in a couple of hours when he does have class. You have to also focus on his cooking. He has to level up. It says reach level four of the culinary career. Uh, which he probably won't be able to do right now because he's in school. So, yeah. So, as soon as this term is over, I'm going to have Blue just not sign up for the next term. Go into the culinary career, right? Let him get to level four and then go back and do a new term. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way I think he can achieve anything. I don't know. But... Um, Blue's also going to have a dinner party, so, yeah, because he also has to cook, uh, three types of excellent food. He already did two out of three, so we're going to help our boy Blue out. Okay, it's almost time for everyone to wake up. Blue is studying. He didn't even get to study for the next class. This is some hard stuff. University is no joke. It really, truly is no joke. So, I'm going to have Zane. He's already up. So we are going to have Zane. Oh, he's coming to say what's up. Hey, Blue, what's going on, dude? He was like, what happened huh. the other night at the club? <laughs> he was like, man, I know, it was rough. He was like, I, I think I made a mistake with Gabby. And then Zane is like, well, dude, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to uh, talk to her. Y'all gonna have to work something out because we all live together. And Blue was like, yeah, I know. Oh, man, it's gonna be awkward. Ooh, I wonder if it is going to be awkward between those two. All right, so for Demi, I put her presentation board in room in Blue's bedroom. So she's gonna work on that. Gabby is taking a bath. And Zane is just hanging out, trying to get the, the, the scoop. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Blue is stinking. Blue, come on now. You should finish your homework by now. Um, ooh, it's almost time for class. Hurry up and finish. Um, but Blue, yeah, he's a little bit nervous in approaching Gabby. And not only does Blue have to talk to Gabby, I think Blue really has to apologize to Zoe. Because you know what? Thinking about it, he did just pop up at her apartment unannounced he really did grab your umbrella you got your shade you got your jacket okay come on blue use the umbrella okay he's got the umbrella okay so far so good yes alexis you have saved me girl you have saved me yes Blue is saved, I should say. <laughs> okay, it's working. Oh, yes. I thought I was about to have to, like, contact EA. <laughs> contact us. Oh, no. Wait, he is uncomfortable. 
Okay, but he made it though. He made it to class. All right, Blue is out of class and he is very tense. Um, he's gonna go and invite Zoe out because he has some apologizing to do. So hopefully Zoe will say yes. yes. Hopefully Blue won't burn. <laughs> Guys, we are here. Blue is burning. This is horrible. He's literally on fire. I don't know how long Blue can survive. Come on, Blue, hurry up, go inside. Oh no. No umbrella. And he has one, you see? This is bad. Okay, so he's here. He's gonna, um, and he's here with Zo. Um, he has some apologizing to do. <laughs> okay, and he is just really tense because he's been studying really hard to just get through these classes and. He's, he's, he's going to try and figure out something because he's having a miserable time going to class and stuff. All right, can we get to the table? Thank you. Um, it's a little awkward, yes. And Blue actually took Zoe to Mickey D's. Yes, I have a McDonald's. We got McDonald's up in here. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I mean, it's, it's a gallery McDonald's, but hey. Let's drink some plasma. He's like, hey, Zoe, thanks so much for meeting me. She's like, yeah, no problem. He's like, oh, it's really it's a hot one today. She's like, yeah, you do look a little, a little toasty. <laughs> you do look a little sunburned. She's like, what's going on? He's like, well, you know. I don't think Zoe knows he's a vampire. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, some days are good days and some days are bad days, you know. I didn't put any sunblock on, so I, I got kind of a little bit toasty. Okay, so let's order for... Sit down, Blue, please, so we can order. All right, so we have ordered for the table. And, of course, it's going to be two Big Macs and a drink. <laughs> All right, Zoe, where you go? She's like, I'll be right back. You know, Zoe is extremely shy. And, uh, yeah, she's just very, very awkward, I'm guessing, um, when it comes to, you know, guys and stuff. But Blue is going to get it together. Yeah, Blue, stop posing. Please. We know you're good looking. Don't growl at us. <laughs> Don't growl at us, Blue. Have a seat. Order the food for you and Zoe so we can get this day moving and grooving along. So, Blue wants to say sorry, of course, first. He's like, I'm so sorry, Zoe. About the other day, she's like, no, no, I'm sorry. She's like, you know, work has been really stressful lately, and I'm sorry I was kind of like ignoring you and he's like no i should have never popped up like that you know i should have at least called and told you i was gonna stop by but i kind of need a shelter what do you mean you need a shelter well the sun kind of affects me differently than anybody else she's like what do you mean by that and he's like i kind of have a sickness she's like oh blue i'm so sorry he's like yeah, she's like, you know what? Let's just start over. He's like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm down for that. Let's just start over, Zoe. She's like, yeah. All right. So that was a good conversation. He just had to, like, you know, square everything up, make sure everything was good between him and Zoe. Um, and, you know, he loves talking to Zoe because Zoe is, like, really easy to talk to. And that day was just awkward. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Why y'all got up? I don't understand. What's happening? Uh, can we sit down? I don't get it. Where's the food first off? See, now I'm getting mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where are, where's their food? Is this it? Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I know Blue is his vampire energy. Oh no, it's Daisy. What's happening? Mom's calling. Hey, I heard you became friends with Jeffrey Landcraft. No, we didn't. 
No, we did not, Mom. Jeffrey is your friend, not our friend. Okay, Mom, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, so let's, let's, come on, let's get to know Zoe just a little bit better. So, Blue and Zoe are having a really nice conversation. Yes, yeah. Finally, I've been oh, trying to get Zoe to, to like, really compensate hey, and stuff. And he is super, super flirty. <laughs> Should he ask to be Blue partners? <laughs> because that's the type of thing Blue would ask. That may be a little too soon, Blue. Oh, final grades? Yes! Yes, Blue got two A pluses and an A. Yes, that's my boy, burning and all. He is succeeding, yes. Okay. We're not going to, no, we, not right now. We're not gonna um do another term. We're gonna get Blue a regular cooking job. He needs a break. <laughs> already, I know, already. He needs a break because the sun thing. Oh, she's being real flirty with him. He's like, oh, you know, I like you and um, I like hanging out with you. We need to hang out more. You know, we need to spend some more time together. She's like, do you want to come back to my place? And he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, let's do this. So I'm going to have them. Um, pay for the meal and then they're gonna go to her place okay, we arrived back at Zoe's house um, because Zoe wanted us to actually he's like I am so like tired and where you going oh he's going on the computer he needs a little fun um, but you can have that with Zoe hold on let's get something going here you can have fun with Zoe. She's like, what you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just checking out some of your games. But hold on, because we're going to have some fun with Zoe. We're going to talk to her and just oh. joke around. And blue. yeah, she is super flirty. She's like, oh, you're so cute. Yes, she, you're so, she's like, oh, you're so cute, Blue. He's like, girl. And Nara... Merge like, you're day. cute too. Ah, yes, he's yeah, got it. Nice. That's my boy. She's like, oh, you're such a good kisser. It's like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just like hit him in the shoulder? He's like, thank you. Uh -huh. So he's like, so, um, Drickstow. You want to take it a little <laughs> further? <laughs> he's such a bad boy. Look at her. Okay, now she's super friendly. Okay, so let's see what we can do. And he is thirsty too. You know what? I'm sorry, Zoe, but he is going to have to compel you. Because Blue needs to feed. I hope you don't become mad at Blue. There it goes. It's like, oh, yes, nice and sweet. Mm. It tastes so good for Blue. And she doesn't seem to mind. It's going to take Blue a little bit longer because he's a sloppy drinker. He has that, um, that negative effect. So it does take him a little bit long. He's like, uh, she's like, what happened? He's like, oh, uh, nothing. She's like, what's wrong with your eyes? It's like, girl, don't you worry about it. I told you I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive from the sun. Okay, so things are going pretty well with Zoe. Where is she? Did she go upstairs? There is an upstairs. Oh no, she's not. Oh, she's waiting in the bed. <laughs> Blue, you better come over here and wake her up. You kind of drained her. It's a cute little bedroom. It's like, hey, Zoe. He's like, are you okay? She's like, oh, I just felt a little bit dizzy. I'm sorry. 
Oh, she's going back to sleep. She's like, I can't right now. Oh, man. Blue, you should not have drank from her. She is super exhausted. All right, Blue's back home. He's trying to gain some fun. You know, he's here with his roommates, dancing, have a good time. Um, Gabby made some drinks, which looks really good. I'm loving this drink over here. I wish I had one right now. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe later. <laughs> so yeah, so he just came home just to chill with his with his closest friends, and he needs to hibernate because he has like no energy. I think she's avoiding blue. Gabby is avoiding Blue. Okay, well, that is something that Blue has to work on. That's why she's like, I asked her to make a drink. She didn't make the drink. She went back to sleep. Um, And Blue is feeling it. He's feeling it. Zane went to bed. Everyone's kind of tired, which is crazy. But all right, so we are going to end this day, and then we're going to have a fresh start because tomorrow is officially the weekend it is saturday so so blue and zane are up um zane was just making like a fruit salad for himself and blue's like i gotta make some pancakes for gabby <laughs> because i'm gonna start off with food uh as a kind of like an apology and zane's like yo dude why you feel like you gotta apologize to gabby he's like yo i kissed her he's like but she wanted it <laughs> and Blue is just like, yo, I don't know. I just don't want things awkward in the house. So, yeah, I mean, I agree with Blue, you know. True. Uh, yep, yep, Gabby's up. And she's coming right to Blue to what? Join in the cooking. She's like, hey, Blue. She's like, I heard. It's like, I heard you're baking me pancakes. She's like, let me join in. She's like, I will give you my my mother's favorite recipe. It's like, that's not helping me, Gabby. She's like, I He's like, you know, we do have to talk, though. She's like, yeah, but right now, let's just make pancakes together. She's like, all right, Gabby. She's like, yes, this is going to turn out to be really good she's like listen well she stopped with the cooking she's like I'm gonna sit over here let's have her sit over here and just wait for the cooking for the cooking <laughs> have a wait for the pancakes child it's like two o'clock in the morning over here <laughs> so forgive me as I am recording it is two o'clock but you know. Okay, sit down, Gabby. Uh -huh. It's almost done. Oh, she has to uh -huh. go to work? No, you could. Oh, uh, she's gonna go to work. Damn it. I want her to stay home. Blue's like, I know this girl's a not. Okay, pancakes are ready. Let's have him call everyone to meal. Sometimes, you know. Oh, he is thirsty again. Okay, let's. Let's have him just do a plasma pack. He can't be drinking everybody's blood. You can't be eating the pancakes either. That's not going to help with your thirst. Just say like, thank you, Blue, for the pancakes. Hey, morning, everyone. Morning, Demi. Who's like, Zane, I thought you had some fruit salad. He's like, that doesn't mean I can't have pancakes. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is Saturday. The, yeah, he has a sentiment. Oh no, wait. He has a sentiment with Zane. Let me let, let me let me check this out. Um, a Zane. Yeah, he's unemployed, but he is studying drama at Foxborough Institute. Um, they are good friends. Blue sentiment adoring. Okay, well yeah, Blue can go either way, but this is his homeboy though. <laughs> This is his homeboy. He's like, hey, Demi. She's like, oh, the pancakes look great. Yeah. Hey, good oh, morning. Boy, and Blue uh, Trey is gluttony. Matter of no. fact, I didn't even no. show you guys his traits. So Blue is outgoing. Glut He's um, glutton, oh. or, you know, gluttony, basically. Oh. Romantic. 
and he's got a, like a happy toddler tray and essence of flavor uh, for choosing the food as as an aspiration so okay all right so everyone's home except for gabby gabby went to work she told blue that she would talk to him later on tonight um blue's just hanging out in the house for a little bit he is actually gonna go to his parents house today um help out mom and then you know go hang out with his brother his brothers and his sister and talk to his dad and all that good stuff all right guys so blue is visiting home he is back home at his parents house and he is talking to his brother Bela. they're pretty close in age <laughs> Bela's soon to graduate high school they're about i guess i want to say about two two years apart so he just checking in on his little brother, saying, hey, what's going on? How you doing? How's school? And I was like, oh, it's okay. How's, how's being free? Feel to be free. You don't have mom and dad around? He's like, yeah, it's all, it's all good. But they came to the club the other night. And I was like, oh, yeah, I heard they went out because Auntie Lilith told them that uh, you invited her to this spot. So they wanted to go check it out, too. He's like, yeah, but you know, I, I ignore them. You gotta ignore mom and dad sometimes. He's like, yeah, I can't wait to be out and free up. Here comes mom, Daisy, you know, Daisy. It's like, what are you boys talking about? Ah, oh, nothing, mom. You know, school. Yeah, uh-huh. He's like, I seen you the other night. It's like, I know, mom. I was trying to tell you to leave. Why did you come? She's like, what? It's a free world. <laughs> um, Blue does, you know, this is the flower legacy after all. And he does have to come and check on his flower. Here is the bluebells. Has to get one of the bluebell plants to excellent. That is a part of all the generations. Each generation has to do their part in making their flower an excellent flower. Daisy is still working on hers. Actually, uh, she has to evolve 10 excellent plants. She hasn't even finished her, her aspiration at all. But this is the only thing. Sorry, guys, I got the sniffles. This is the only thing that she has to work on. So she has three out of 10. Yeah, it's tricky because um, they can't, it's hard to, to do planting and gardening in, in the daytime because of the sun and they are vampires. But she did hire a gardener, which is really, really helping. So there are no plants to evolve, only to like harvest or, you know, but it, it's, it's on, it's in built, the blue belt is in nice quality. So we got three more tier levels to go for, um, blues. Caleb is home and Blue really wanted to talk to his father about, you know, like some biting techniques and things that he shouldn't do. Um, so yeah, so hey dad, it's like, hey Blue. He's like, uh, dad, I want to ask you about, you know, biting techniques. Like the other night I like, I kind of like bit somebody, but it kind of tasted gross. And then Caleb is like, well, you know, it really depends. It really depends on who the person is, um, if they have really good hygiene and stuff like that. But, you know, Blue, you shouldn't really be biting anybody without their permission. You know, I don't like that. And Blue's like, hey, Dad, you know, I know, I know. But uh, I just get the urge sometimes. And Caleb's like, well, you're going to have to learn to control your urges and Zoe has invited blue to the romance festival so he is going to go and he's going to bring some friends so blue agreed to meet Zoe and you know bring some of his friends it's pretty hard for him with the whole burning thing um but you know he kind of likes Zoe and he wants to please her but she doesn't really know he's a vampire and he just you know yeah oh it's so cute so cute so they went inside to the lounge to stay away from the sun miles and demi's there talking to zoe trying to explain to her how much the sun affects blue and zoe's like yeah i know blue told me everything and demi was like really 
he told you everything and Demi was about to tell Zoe everything and Zane jumps up and starts yelling at her. Because Blue doesn't want Zoe to know that he's a vampire. She's like, come on, Blue, hurry up before the team runs out. It's like, all right, Zoe, I'm coming. I'm right behind you. Look at her. She's so damn preppy. <laughs> she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm going to taste this. So let's get our future told, shall we? Request romance guru wisdom. Ask about your romance destiny. It's like, well... Bro, you know, Blue, is that your name? I don't really see much commitment from you, but when you do meet the one, you are definitely going to know right away, instantly. He's like, really? He's like, yeah. She's like, yes, of course. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm with a, this girl right now. She's like, no, no, no. You got to take your time with this one. This one wants more than what you want. It doesn't match. So therefore, it might not be right. He's like, oh, So she is not the one. Hmm. So, Blue is noticing that Miles and Zoe are kind of like flirting with each other. But, you know, Zane is looking over there too. But they both realize it's just that so Sakuri tea that they're both drinking that is getting them a little flirty. Blue, after hearing what the lady told him, he definitely is not going to take things serious with Zoe. I mean, he never really did anyway. And it's all right if Miles kind of flirts with her because that's his boy. And he knows that nothing is going to come of that situation anyway. All right, Blue is home. You do need to take a shower, though. But he really wanted to talk to um, Gabby because they need to discuss what happened, what, what went down in the club the other day. All right, Gabby, so how was your day today? Oh, my day? My day was great. He's like, listen, I know we have a lot to talk about. She's like, uh-huh. He's like, I want to apologize for kissing you at the club. She's like, uh-huh. He's like, but, you know, you did kind of give me mixed signals. What do you mean? He was like, well, you did call me and was, like, wanting to go out. Which is like, yeah, uh, I did, but... He's like, you know, you confused me so much, Gabby. She's like, well, let me tell you something, Blue. She's like, I got a text message telling me that at the same time that I was talking to you about how I was feeling, you was with somebody else. He's like, what? She's like, yeah. And he's like, I wasn't. Of course, we know Blue is lying. She's like, well, that's what they told me. He's like, well, listen, uh, Listen, out of everything, I am totally sorry, Gabby. Uh, it will never happen again, and I hope that we could be friends. Of course we're going to be friends, Blue. We live together. Blue clearly is upset. He's like, who the F told her I was with Zoe that day? So today is Blue's dinner party, and he is prepping for all his guests. Um, he's preparing this dinner party for his friends, his closest friends, so they can taste his food. And plus, he's going to be really busy with his whole cooking career that he is starting. So he is ready to go. This dinner party to begin. Let's start. Oh, me? Okay. I'm gonna get some of the food out and just place it on the table. Gabby's like, I'm not eating at the table <laughs> with her. Okay, uh, Blue, can we have you sit down at the table, please? All right, let me move this plate. Okay, let's have Blue sit. Come on, Blue. Sit down. So Blue is sitting alone in the kitchen and he's thinking about everything that has happened you know over the weekend and stuff but especially about what Gabby said that somebody told her about 
who he was with that day. And he just looks at Demi and he just knows. He's like, I know it's Demi. I know it's Demi. And Zang's like, yo, bro. He's like, what's going on? And Phil's like, I think, oh, never mind. I'm going to have to tell you later, bro, because people are always in your business. Always in your business in this house. So Zane is like, hey, Zoe, what's going on? Like, what was that shit you pulled last night? She was like, oh, you know, it was that security. It made me feel different. And, you know, I don't think I did anything truly wrong because me and Blue are not in a relationship. She's like, yeah, but come on. I was just like, who's homeboy? And you standing there, you flirting with him. She's like, uh, well, I wasn't. He was flirting with me, actually. I was just talking to him, getting to know him. There's nothing wrong with that. True. She's true. She's right. She's like, Lou, are you thinking about, um, are you thinking about having your own restaurant? He's like, yep, that Back is the plan. Thank you, everyone, for coming <laughs> so to my dinner party. Yes, I appreciate you I'm guys. I mean, obviously, some of you already live here, so you know what was up Ooh, anyway. Carbon but thanks, so and oh, oh, for like, oh, stopping oh. by. <laughs> so, Demi, yeah? Did, was, but, was it you that told Gabby that I was uh, hanging out with Zoe the other day? She's like, oh, yeah, was I not supposed to? Demi, you know damn well you wasn't supposed to tell anybody. She's like, Blue, I can't keep up. I'm sorry. I can't keep up with your antics. All right, guys. So I think Blue had a very successful dinner party. It wasn't a gold dinner party, but it was just something that Blue wanted to do. He wanted to show his friends his cooking skills before he starts his brand new job on Monday. I think overall, Blue had a fantastic weekend. He got things kind of squared away with Zoe, even though something kind of happened during the whole romance festival thing with Miles. It kind of made things a little bit awkward. But still, I think they have a very clear understanding of their non-relationship. And plus, he did speak to the, I guess, fortune lady or the romance lady. And she even told him the thing was so wasn't a good idea, but he will meet that person one day. Um, and I'm so glad things got squashed with um, Gabriella, even though their friendship took a little dip, just a little dip, uh, because she did find out that Blue was with Zoe that particular day, that she confessed her little crush on him. And Blue believes it was Demi, and it was. He was right. It was Demi who told Gabby uh, about Blue being with Zoe and Demi felt like it wasn't even a secret so what's the big deal so Blue is a little player and we all know this and he is just a little bad boy but you know what if you guys have any female sims for my boy Blue please upload them to the gallery um with the hashtag Rala's Sims for Blue. Yes. Rollers Sims for Blue. So that, you know, I can put them in the game. And who knows? Maybe one of your Sims is the one true love for Blue. It's the one that will make him stop being the player player he is. And the one that he will eventually have a child with. So, yeah, I would really appreciate it if you guys would upload that to the gallery so they can be in the next upcoming episode. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new and you like this episode and you like what you see and you like my channel, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell. It will let you know whenever I upload any new content. And, of course, every Wednesday and Saturday, guaranteed, there will always be a new video on my channel. So thank you so much. I am Samavella and I am signing out. Bye guys. Uh -huh.